Hello, today we're taking a look at IndianCupid.com. This is a part of the Cupid dating network and obviously specified towards that of the Indian community, more specifically the NRI or non-residential Indian. So people who are not from uh, or who are India from India, but not necessarily in India, they can be, you know, residents outside in the US abroad, etc. Uh, but their background is that of, you know, from India. So if you are interested in that community, if you're looking for singles, whether you're in India or outside it, then Indian Cupid is for you. So you sign up, you get a free standard account here, you can go ahead and put your profile information by uploading photos, uh, and putting your profile information, you can add things like Cupid tags, which is a part of the Cupid network to add things that you may be interested in such as sports activities hobbies so on and so forth all of this information makes it easier for people to find you people to show interest in you and people to obviously know more about you when they stumble across your profile now going back to the dashboard here you have recommended matches based off of a little bit of that information you put in when you sign up here uh, you can see some users here uh, information as far as your name age uh, area here so for example you see some people from for example this user is from canada here brampton canada i can click and i can view her profile picture i can go ahead and click on view profile to see the full profile here and you can see again overview of her uh, information here again the matching as far as criteria what she's looking for where i may possibly match up as far as my own preferences lifestyle appearance uh, so you can kind of see a side-by-side -side comparison here going all the way down to background and cultural values so things like religious values family types martial status uh, hobbies and interests and other stuff that they can go ahead and input here down at the bottom so things like music sports entertainment etc you see those cupid tags i was talking about here on the left so you can see things that you may match up on or you can go ahead and click on those actual tags to go ahead and see other people who share those similar interests and if you want to go ahead and click on your matches here you can go ahead and do that and see people that you may have matched up with uh, or your mutual matches or reverse matches now the way interest works is if you go to a member here and you click on the heart and uh, you show interest in them and then they show interest back, then obviously that's a mutual match and that's how that system kind of works out here. Uh, additionally, you can add people to your favorites by simply using this kind of checkbox icon right there. Now the search functionality will give you options to do advanced search or just your basic search. So your basic search will just be, you know, whether you're male seeking a female or what have you, uh, age range, country, uh, photo options. But beyond that, the advanced search allows you to go further. So appearance, lifestyle choices, background and cultural values, you can go ahead and specify all those things that you may want somebody to have. So for example, family values, whether liberal, moderate, or conservative uh, nationalities here, you can go ahead and input those. You can check multiple ones for just using the control key here. And again, so you input all of those preferences and you can go ahead and make a very advanced search for the members on the site that you may be looking for. You can save those searches and run them later when there's more people online. So for example, there's only nine members online right now. So if I was wanting to do that at a more popular time, I can go ahead and save the search and do it later. I can do keyword searches, Cupid tag searches, first name, member numbers, and popular searches. Uh, and that is the basic kind of search functionality throughout Indian Cupid here. Now your messages is your inbox feature. This allows you to go ahead and sort folders, see your sent mail, trash mail, create filters, basically see your interactions with members. However, uh, again, when you sign up, this is a free account, but to get access to things like accessing all your messages and ad free experience, you're going to have to go ahead and upgrade your membership, which is a paid process here. So you can select a platinum or gold account in this case. Now, your last tab here is your activity tab. This shows activity towards you. So if there's people who've showed interest, favored to you, or viewed your profile, it'll be displayed here. And the same for when you go ahead and show interest or favorite. So for example, again, if I go back and I show interest in some users here, or I favorite some users, I can go ahead and view those in my activity. So my interest here, they'll show up here. And the same thing goes for my favorites. So if you are a NRI, if you're somebody who's seeking for, uh, you know, Indian uh, people backgrounds, whether they're in India or outside of India, then Indian Cupid is the dating network for you. It makes it simple, makes it easy, makes you available to find people to be found. Head over to IndianCupid.com.